Water covers 70% of the Earth's surface and is vital for all forms of life and most of it is in oceans and other large water bodies. 1.6% of water is below the ground in aquifers and 0.01% is in the air as vapor, clouds and precipitation. A very small amount of the Earth's water is in biological bodies and manufactured products. Water underground moves continually through a cycle of evaporation or transpiration, precipitation and runoff, usually reaching the sea. These processes often leave the water contaminated with bacteria and parasites. Clean drinking water is essential to humans and other forms of life, but access to safe drinking water remains a major challenge. A sand technology called biosand filtration has been designed and removes between 95 to 99 percent of organic contaminants including bacteria, viruses, protozoa, worms and particles from water making it safe for consumption. So how does this technology work? The most effective part of nature that does filtration of water is rock. So if you can get the same piece of rock and crush it down into smaller particles that increase um, the number of particles that the water has to travel through, you can achieve the same effect as water that runs through the earth's surface and goes down to the uh, water basin. Sand is used to filter the water through different stages over a certain period of time. The sand used in this case is granite, which is often picked from anywhere in the field. But it has to be sieved to remove the big particles and make it hold closer. It is then washed to remove the extra dust that could color the water and clog the filtration system when left there. The sand is then dried for close to two hours under the sun before it can be used for water filtration. Sand, as long as it, it's wet, would attract a growth of microorganisms in it. And that would mean that you would be starting with contaminated sand. So we dry the sand to ensure that there is no potential of contamination in the sand and then we can store it. It is then poured into the system that comprises a plastic container about the size of an office water cooler. It has an inset plastic pipe that acts as an outlet for the fresh water. A hard thick filter cloth is then added on top of the sand with a pipe to lock it tightly onto the container. This holds the dirt that comes with the water and prevents it from getting into the sand. Dirty water is therefore poured into the top of the biosand filter, where a diffuser plate evenly distributes the water over the sand bed layer. The water moves down through the sand bed and passes through multiple layers of gravel. The first two to three inches of the sand bed will compact and they will trap, it will trap all microorganisms, algae and bacteria, which is in that water. It will all be trapped within the first two to three inches of the sandbed. That forms what scientists normally uh, call the biological layer, or the common word used is Schmudzki. The Schmudzki acts as a filter where other microorganisms predate on other microorganisms such as parasites, bacteria and disease-causing pathogens. The water then runs through and the microorganisms are pulled to the granite particles through the ionic charge in the granite particles in a process called adsorption. As your water continues down the sunbed, other bacteria will die due to uh, starvation because there is no food. Um, others would die due to suffocation because there is no oxygen and others would also um, die due to lack of light. Now all those processes work together from the top of the sunbed working downwards. By the time your water gets to the bottom it is 100% free of pathogens.
The filter requires increased contact time to deliver clean water. A minimum of one hour is required to process 20 liters of water, depending on the granite size. The granite particles are extremely small so that uh, it takes six hours for every 20 liters of water to filter through. Now, to maintain that constant presence of water, because it's got to be a continuous system, we've designed it in such a way that there is always um, about two inches of water that never dries out in the sunbed. Safe water produced by this filter is free of discoloration, odor and unpleasant taste. The water is good for drinking, cooking, personal hygiene and sanitation as some users testify. I just discovered I don't even have to boil water and I've just been able to see the difference between in terms of bill. Um, I only have spent like 30,000 now. You can be amazed to see that 20,000 is off. Uh, I have of course other gadgets as well but just that being off uh, the bill cut down is amazing. The bio sand filter uses the purification phenomena of the natural environment. The filter that eliminates 97% of the bacteria and 100% parasites is an option to boiling which has necessitated many rural homes to use huge amounts of firewood leading to high levels of deforestation and environmental degradation generally. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk.